Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of pair valence spanning tree plus. For what purpose we can use pair valence spanning tree plus means if and switch have more than one valence, that time we can use pair valence spanning tree plus protocol to configure which valence can be assigned as root bridge and which valence can be assigned as non root bridge. Let's we can see pair valence spanning tree plus. Let's in this topology. Three switches can be connected as triangle switch A, switch B, and switch C. In switch A, we can create VLAN 1 and 2, and switch B also we can create VLAN 1 and 2, and switch C also we can create VLAN 1 and 2. In switch A, VLAN 1 can be assigned as root bridge, and VLAN 2 can be assigned as non root bridge. In switch B, VLAN 2 can be assigned as root bridge and VLAN 1 can be assigned as non root bridge. In switch C, VLAN 1 and 2 both are assigned as non root bridge. So, in root in switch A, VLAN 1 is assigned as a root bridge. That time, switch C, VLAN 1 port is forwarding state and VLAN 2 is blocking state. In switch B, root bridge is VLAN 2. That time, the forwarding port for VLAN 2 and blocking port is VLAN 1. Pair VLAN spanning tree plus extended ID. In spanning tree protocol, every 2 seconds bridge protocol data units can be sent to neighboring switch. In that bridge protocol data units, it contains bridge ID, priority value and MAC address. So the bridge priority is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. That value is common for all Cisco Catalyst switch. Depends upon the MAC address only, it can be selected as a root bridge. But in pair valence spanning tree plus bridge priority plus system ID. The system ID can indicate the VLAN ID. Every two seconds, the switch can be sent to neighboring switch bridge priority, extended system ID, and MAC address. Rapid spanning tree plus. So the pair valence spanning tree protocol is works like same as rapid spanning tree plus in rapid spanning tree plus we can configure in blocking port means it can be immediately changes into the forwarding port it cannot be wait for listening and learning state that is the main advantage of rapid spanning tree plus pair vlan rapid spanning tree plus protocol the syntax for configuring rapid Pair VLAN spanning tree plus is go to the global mode and give spanning tree space mode space rapid hyphen pair VLAN spanning tree. Using this command only we can configure pair VLAN spanning tree plus. How to verify the spanning tree configuration? We can give show space spanning tree space VLAN then we can give the VLAN ID. Otherwise we can give show spanning tree it will display the all the vlan details how to debug this spanning tree pair vlan spanning tree plus debug space spanning iphone tree space pair vlan spanning tree plus configuring root and secondary bridge in this topology three switches can be connected triangle switch a switch b and switch c in switch A, we can create VLAN 1 and 2 and switch B, we can create VLAN 1 and 2 and switch C also, we can create VLAN 1 and 2. In switch A, VLAN 1 can be created as root bridge and VLAN 2 can be created as non root bridge. In switch B, VLAN 2 can be created as root bridge and VLAN 1 can be created as non root bridge. In switch C, we can create both VLAN 1 and 2 can be created as non root bridge. So, in switch A, we can give VLAN 1 can be created as a root bridge. So, the syntax for creating root bridge is here we can see switch A. In switch A, we can create two VLAN, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. In VLAN 1 can be created as a root bridge. So, the syntax for creating root bridge is go to the global mode. Here we can give spanning tree space VLAN, VLAN ID is 1 and root space primary this primary command indicates that vlan 1 can be assigned as an root bridge and switch a vlan 2 can be assigned as non root bridge so go to the global mode given spanning tree space vlan space vlan id space root 
here we can give secondary the secondary command can indicates that vlan 2 is a non root bridge here we can see spanning tree space vlan vlan id priority the priority value can be also given to assign whether the vlan can be assigned as root bridge or secondary bridge so the priority value can be starts from 0 4 0 9 6 and it can be incremented like 4096 plus 4096 it can be incremented depends upon the va depends upon the priority value the vlan can be assigned as root bridge and non root bridge in switch b vlan 2 can be assigned as root bridge and vlan 1 can be assigned as non root bridge the syntax for assigning root bridge is spanning tree space vlan 2 space root here primary so in switch b vlan 2 can be assigned as a root bridge and vlan 1 can be assigned as non root bridge here we can give priority value also so the priority value can be incremented like 4096 4096 like that describing port first the port first command can be used only in access port in trunk port we cannot be using port first in all Cisco Catalyst switch, the port first command can be enabled predefinedly. We no, no we no need to configure manually. How to configure port first commands? Here we can see switch x configure iPhone interface. If the switch can be connected to PC fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So go to that interface given spanning tree iPhone spanning tree space port first. So that interface can be assigned as an port first. Otherwise, we can give in the global mode spanning tree space port first space default. So all the except non-trunking interface, all the port can be assigned as a port first. How to verify port first means show space running iPhone config space interface space interface. 